Mama Alikuwa ataka umweleze story ya umwambie unajua Brian? Brian Chira, you know the Chira? Eh. Ah, hebu ni sasa tuambie sasa story yake tu kidogo yenyewe mwenyewe unajua kama daktari wewe kwanza unaitwa nani? Mimi naitwa Dorothy Kazini. Ehe. Unafanyaka kazi gani? Mimi ni daktari wa kwa Ehe. Wewe unafanya sawa. Alafu sasa hebu tuambie story tu kidogo. Yenye Brian vile ulifanyia huyu kijana. Yaani story tu kidogo ya yenye huyu unachoe ya huyu kijana. Kijana? Ehe. Kijana ana wazazi. Ehe. Akokuwa na wazazi. Ehe. Alikuja kwangu mwezi wa pili hapo. Ehe. Na alikuwa na shida pili. Ehe alikuwa naye alikuwa alikuwa na tezeka ilikuwa shida gani hiyo Oh, aku anak kali saja, cowok. Cowok itu anak kita. Eh, alah, aku yang gini dikuat gani. Devo siapa? Eh, kalau sebab bukan awak zazu, udah mesti dia kau mazazi. Eh, eh, eh. Uh-huh. Alikuwa kuja kwako mwezi wa tatu. Na sasa mlikuwa umeelewana akulipe pesa akulipe pesa ngapi? Sasa nilikuwa namwambia wakati nilikuambia nilimwambia kama nilikuwa kama hiyo matemo huko. Ehe. Tena nilichanga hata mwezi wa 2000. Unalipichanga hata 1300. Eh hapa ndio nikamwambia ndaniambia nitapata 100. Anaweza pata 100. Lakini ada kupatia msini kwanza Mbala nsi ada leta lini? Alikuwa leta mwezi watatu Alikuwa mpola kwa na mambo mingi Alikuwa 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 kana nani ukiwa kwako alia tukukua taka kujua kama alikuja kwako alikuja sawa sasa ni sawa sawa mamu ulifanya vizuri kupia kumusaidia ni sawa kwa tuwezikia full story kwa mamu sasa tuwezikia sasa story yote sasa kwa tuwezikia story yote kuna shoti kati maali ya kuna shoti kati sasa wala tuwezikia sasa unajua watu wakubu wanaelewa wala watu kwenye wanajua kujika ni kufanya gini Unajua kuna kutumika wewe ni mwanaume. Unatumiwa na mwanaume mwenzako. Hiyo ndio kutumika. Uh, wewe ni mwanamke utumiwa na mwanamke mwenzako hiyo ndio kutumika. Kutumika. Sasa chira alikuwa anatumika na mwanamume mwenzake. Hapo anaweza mwenyewe. Hata choo kikuwa kinapita kupita. Mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa na igari. Kuna watu mpaka mwingi. Yao. Ikaenda kwa kazi yangu. Eh? Hapo na hosi hapo. Kanini kadogo tu. Nikaenda nikamuuliza. Mimi hata sikuwa anajua kama kuna pamba sisi watu wakubwa. Guys, I want to shock you.
Brian Chira was running away from people or from someone who wanted to hurt him. Little did he know that it was a plan. He was hit by a lorry. He didn't see it coming. He was running away from someone, from something. Brian Chira is now dead. Nyako, right now, is talking about something. You are not listening to Nyako. Nyako is actually prophesizing her own death. Na ujue ninapo tafutwa kuuliwa wewe pia uko ndani ya hiyo mpango. People are coming after me. Know that you are part of the program. Part of the program. Did you hear it? Nyako said there is a program. What does a program mean? A program in Amalisha kwamba there is a group of organized people when you wanafanya kazi na TikTokers. They present to your deal Dili kibakfaya, wewe kaput. You are waiting for tragedy to happen to you. Nyako knows very well that there is someone or there are some people who are after her. People are coming after me. I'm telling you this. If you don't believe it, shauri yako. These are the same people when you alipotea na branchira. I don't know what kind of deal these people have with TikTokers. But something is definitely going on. Nyako is speaking in parables. She's speaking in ciphers. And for people like us who understand what she's saying, Nyako is crying for help. Someone is coming after Nyako. And Nyako knows it very well. Someone has told me, wana kutumia pesa, ndio washa hiyo pesa, na wachukue. Lakini kuna watu wapa TikTok wa kikutumia hiyo pesa, uende utoe warudishie, kuna watu warudishi. Hapo ndiyo deal inaribika na unaona tiktokers wanakufa. So we are asking Bwana Kindiki, please come and save these young Kenyans. Wa Kenya wako na njaa, they will accept any kind of deal from all these shoddy business people. And easy deals ziki backfire, ni mayuths ndiyo wanakufa. As I finish, there is a pastor who prophesized that nyako atakufa kiwa live. I'm leaving this prophecy here. Today is 17th March 2024. This woman will just collapse and she will die na atakuwa on live. Kwa chini niwaambie. I'm looking at you dead on the face. These things will happen. It might not happen today or tomorrow next week or next month. But it will happen. Kaini macho sana. I saw a woman falling down. She just collapsed and died. This woman is in one of the European countries. She is she is Kenyan. She's a Kenyan woman. She is well known. And um huyu mwanamke ako na health issues. And many people do not know that she is having health issues. I don't I don't follow her. I'm not her, I'm not her follower. But her image just came during my afternoon hours and her name also appeared. So when that happened nika anza kufuatilia and I saw and I confirmed. So uh, I'm leaving this prophecy here. Today is 17th March 2024. This woman will just collapse and she will die na atakuwa on live. Atakuwa kwa live broadcast wakati hiyo ikifanyika. Be watchful.